Hello! This is Roscoe, and this is my first game review! Oh, oh, uh, oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> this is Kirby and the Forgotten Land for the Switch, of course. First thing first, it's a Kirby game. Not too challenging, and at the end of the day, no one will remember playing it. It's a super cute game where you kill cute animals. The only thing that annoys me is the challenges to get more brown animal things will only show up after you complete them. Or when the level is finished, forcing you to either read the minds of the developer... <laughs> or redo the whole level again. I don't really want to do that. But luckily, I have not had to go back to proceed in unlocking the boss levels. They do have a regular mode and a journalist mode. I'm not kidding. A game journalist said you are playing the game wrong if you don't play it on baby mode. You are talking about Elm Ring gatekeeping. When you are gatekeeping, Kirby, you idiot. The new sucking power deep throat mode lets you suck up random objects and use them in interesting ways. It is a good way to break up the pace of just platforming and annihilating an innocent species. It's a nice addition and the puzzles are sometimes clever and fun. I give it an 8 goat throat masterclass out of 10. This is Roscoe. Peace out, mother lover.